Birdie and the Beast kind of feels like what Sylvester and Tweety would be like if another studio had tried to parody the characters. This is actually just a really early version of Tweety Pie and a cat character who is black and white and therefore it's impossible to not think of Sylvester. This was released in 1944, directed by Robert Clampett and written by Warren Foster. And of course we have Mel Blanc voicing Tweety and the, the cat character. The cat doesn't really sound like Sylvester, apart from one bit when the cat hit his head and he cried out and he sounded exactly like Sylvester. And it starts off with this cat prowling around trying to get Tweety Bird. Tweety, of course, has his beige appearance with his large feet. And the cat is doing everything he can to get the bird. And there's also a dog, our classic butch bulldog, um, who I rather enjoyed. But I think the cartoon really came into its own once the chicken came along, or a hen. Um, and I won't say exactly how, but this hen had various visual gags and eggs were involved that I thought were used very well. And it was quite surprising and unexpected. So it definitely took directions that I wasn't expecting, which meant it was quite fresh and quite engaging all the way through. The voice of Tweety is pretty much as it is, as I said, the cat. The cat's not Sylvester, but it's hard to look at it and not see a black and white cat with Tweety as being Sylvester. But there are not actually too many similarities between this cat and Sylvester, but you can kind of see what was plucked from this character to then go on and create Sylvester. But I enjoyed it. I thought it was good fun. I really liked Butch's involvement as a character. The hen I thought was very effective um, with a great involvement there. And I really enjoyed it. It felt more well-developed than a lot of the early Tweety cartoons do. Not that they're bad, but this one just felt like more style and substance, whereas some of the other ones are maybe a little bit scattered and not quite as well-refined. Definitely one I recommend if you're a fan of Tweety or of Warner Brothers in general. Birdie and the Beast is probably never going to be my all-time favourite Tweety, Tweety Pie or Tweety Bird cartoon, but I definitely enjoyed it.